You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update. Fans are remembering the life and legacy of beloved Orioles icon Brooks Robinson. He died yesterday at the age of 86. Brooks started with the O's in 1955 and stayed with them for 23 seasons. He helped get them to two World Series championships in 1966 and again in 1970. Brooks is in the Baseball Hall of Fame. He also won the Golden Glove Award 16 consecutive times. He was a good friend to Scott Garceau, working alongside the former WMAR 2 News Sports Director, broadcasting O's games for over a decade in the 1980s and 90s. Well, you said sorry for your loss. I say sorry for Baltimore's loss, for baseball's loss, for the millions that Brooks touched, and he touched millions. He certainly did. Fans can pay respects at the number five statue at Camden Yards. You can enter on Camden Street starting today through Sunday from 7 in the morning to four hours before first pitch and then again during regular game hours. We're expecting to see a few more pokes of sunshine and temperatures back into the mid 60s and even upper 60s for a lot of us. So slightly warmer than what we saw yesterday. A lot of us will be feeling that warmth even into parts of the later hours of the evening. But then it starts to cool back down as we have still that east northeast flow bringing in some of that cooler damp air. Temperatures do get to about mid 50s with partly cloudy skies, so we are going to still need that sweatshirt to start off our Thursday. Megan. All right, Caesar, thank you so much and stay with WMAR2news.com for updates to stories throughout the day and for your news and weather. While you're out and about, you can always download our app. Thanks for watching. I'm Megan. Knight.